Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization 6. We are Gorgo playing Deity Difficulty over here, and we are about to finish off the Persians. Now, between episodes, what I did is I did uh, set up a bunch of trades with people. We had some extra luxuries. I did as much trade as I could for some extra gold. We're going to need a bunch of money for some unit upgrades soon. Um, I also went and revised and checked our queue of uh, research over here. You know, start with flight, so we will have access to balloons for when we turn on the Aztecs. And then after that, we're going to look for oil, which we should have. We've got lots of tundra and lots of desert. We should have land oil, and that will enable us to upgrade our bombards to artillery and our uh, melee units to infantry, which is going to be a huge power boost. Um, and then after that, probably going to machine gun. Uh, as well for some more upgrades, which would be very, very, very good if we can do that. Um, and in terms of our civics, all we're doing over here is uh, we are trying to get the mobilization ASAP for armies. And then after that, we're going to push up to totalitarianism so that we can get the fascist government type. And that's it. Now, for this city, I was actually thinking of doing some funky little shenanigans over here. It would be really nice to get the level four upgrade on these before the next war. Or I guess level five upgrade. Like the fourth upgrade, is the way I should say it. Um, so that we can go ahead and... Um, have the plus one range, which is going to be very useful. So I think I'm going to do a very slow plunking away at this city, uh, bringing like a bombard to shoot and then pulling back when it gets damaged and doing that. So it's not going to be fast, which has me a little bit worried because the Aztecs do have really good signs. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be concerned about them maybe building up very quickly here. Um, I go that way. No, okay, so it doesn't actually matter. Okay, um, so there is a little bit of a timing thing. Uh, in seven turns, we can uh, get the cheaper upgrade here. I think we'll wait for that. So yeah, I'm going to pump the brakes a little bit. I'm a little bit worried that it might allow the Aztecs to catch up a little bit. Um, well, or sorry, to pull further ahead, really, is what we're talking about. But fingers crossed that that's not a problem. We've got a bunch of torn up terrain over here that we're going to take a look at and see what we can do. Um, so I'm actually, I'm going to pull these units back completely. We're not going to get involved over here with these guys. I don't think we're going to need it. Uh, yeah, an embassy is fine. I don't mind that. Yeah, see, we're not taking much damage from the bombard over here. So we're going to be in okay shape. And we're going to try to melt this so that we can get um, as many of these guys with the plus one range as possible. Uh, so they'll have range three. Range four with, uh, with a balloon. Now, uh, I do have Publix Warps going on right now. We do still have a lot of tile improvements to work on. Ooh, although we do want the archaeologist going as well. No, let's go builders because we are running the policy right now. That's going to be okay. Yeah, you just pull back and chill. Do something like that. And yeah, we'll move you up a little bit closer. And be ready to go. Same thing. Let's be ready to do some tile swaps as this guy starts taking some damage. Um, I think I will mine. Repair. A little confused as to why those don't get highlighted for repairs. Um, Liang has aquaculture. We should reassign you to maybe something like Tarsus and start doing some fisheries. That seems like a good idea. Or, actually, I could reassign you to Boktree because then you'll get the extra. There's not as much fish rising to do over here. But we'll get the extra charge on the builder that you're working on, so that's going to be nice. Um, I guess we may as well go and improve out at sea. That's fine there. Yeah, we'll take a little bit more damage. But we don't, we're not at risk of losing this unit. We can retreat easily going out to sea. I'm going to have to make sure to hit refuse on that every single time it comes up. I don't want to accidentally hit accept. That would be quite poor. I think he gets promotion. No, a little more. Okay. Didn't know the actual number. So I guess keep working on builders for now. So we're not going to change the policy for urbanization. We're going to keep buildering for a little while longer. Uh, I'll just move you out somewhere over here so that you will be in a position to range attack afterwards. I'll stick you there. I think you're going to have plenty of food over here, Gordon. So we're going to give you some production. Okay, just chill out over here. And, right, I'm not promoting you right now. I can probably just move you to C. And... 
I don't know. Come and improve stuff over there. And over here, I guess. That's going to be fine. You're going to come over here, repair the other non-purple tile. Yeah, I'm going to intentionally melt these guys for XP. We, we, well, I mean, we have an alliance with these guys anyway. Um, I'm betting the next one gives us the promotion. Aid requested. Okay, whatever. What are we at? Yeah, so we should get four from a bombard. Which means we can sit here and heal from the promotion, but mostly what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that unit out. Do I want to build some domestic stuff? You actually do need some housing. Although, you can get it from some extra farms as well. That was a good candidate for us going crazy with fisheries. Ah, uh, go ahead for granary. That's going to be fine. Like, it's a little doofy, but this is gonna, I think, benefit us. Alright, repair. Okay, so we're just gonna pull out. And then you over here. You got a long way to go to level 5. What about this one? 118, 121. Okay, about the same. We'll do that. Hopefully we can get two of them to level five. Hey, come, hold on. Why couldn't you shoot? Oh, are you the one with the stupid extra promotion I gave you against land units? Okay, so this isn't going to get this one the plus one range. The promotion is instead going to give it um, the ability to shoot after moving, which is actually even more valuable. So again, yeah, I think I'm, I'm quite happy to be doing this. Uh, you can go ahead and... Um... Okay, capturing is good. Audience chamber... Yeah, no, not that. I guess we'll get a Warlord's Throne. Sure, because we're clearly going to be capturing some cities. That's going to continue. Amenities are still a thing, although a big part of it right now is War Exhaustion, but that's not actually going to stop. They're also housing cap. But, let's get these zoos going. We're going to need all the amenities we can possibly get here. Okay, so you'll move to there. Uh, I guess if I can mine, I'll mine. Look at this incense. I can trade something else. That'd be nice. And... Yeah, just chill out over here. That's going to be fine. Okay. You want some sugar and a bunch of coal, which I'm fine with. A great work and some money. Yeah, no, we'll definitely go for that. <sighs> nope. Huh. That is a lot of money, though. If I was looking... If I was desperate for upgrades... But I think finishing them off is better? <gasps> oh, our alliances just ran out. Okay, that's interesting. Um... I guess get your shipyard going. Go for the granary. No housing. Okay, let's, we're going to renew our friendship and our alliance. Okay, here's something to consider. First of all, he did settle over here, so I don't want a cultural alliance. Maybe I want a military. I wonder if I could convince him to go to war with the Aztecs. In which case, a military alliance would be very beneficial. Because we'd have plus five combat strength with people we're mutually at war with. We get a cultural alliance with you. Although I don't know if we're actually going to be able to send some trade routes to you. And then we still have an alliance with Latoro. Now, with the Aztecs... I'm wondering about just denouncing you. It'll generate grievances, maybe? Hmm. He might actually just denounce me. Which would be better, because he'll generate grievances and I won't. And diplomatically, that puts us in a better, much better position.
Yeah, there's no reason for me to rush that. Especially, I think, um, with... with mobilization, I get a new CB. I don't know if I want to wait that long. Because again, I'm worried that, you know, because he's got the superior tech, there might be, like, there might be a timing window now that we lose out on. 80 strength isn't too bad for us to power through. Am I being too greedy? I don't know. I do like the idea of getting those promotions. Okay, well, out of curiosity. Wait. Wait, you're already in a war against Monty. You'll appreciate if I join your war. As my gift to you, I will join your war against Montezuma. It will give me warmonger penalties. It's kind of annoying, because it's going to generate these grievances. 100 grievances. Is that the same as a surprise war declaration? No, it is less. Huh. Obviously, I'll have to accelerate my plans over here. And we won't have flight. We will have one guy with extra range. I don't think I'm going to join right now. I really feel like flight might be required. I'm going to have enough money to buy a balloon right away. Okay, so I think the idea is we'll have to have taken Ipshin so we can buy planes. Okay, I've got a few turns. We are. I think we're going to be declaring on the Aztecs within five turns, though. Or on five turns from now. I don't know. which, Whichever. Somewhere around there. Impression. Okay. Espionage. Alright. God, you're producing a lot of culture. Uh, that's not good. Catherine with the cultural victory brewing. That is double plus on good. Um... Okay, I want to build... I'm going to build the Acropolis here. I'm going to put an entertainment complex down on the ground here first. <clears throat> yeah. For adjacency. And again, we still need that loving. Okay. Um, this guy here... I'm going to land you as well. We're going to accelerate our bombardment range. Great. They both need XP. They might not end up getting the level before we start the next war, but at least make sure we get established over here. I don't want to overload this area either, because I kind of don't want Monty to be like, declare war art now or else. Um, I'm betting we can take this regardless. But yeah, since we're not allied with Monty anymore, he might be like, oh, you have units near my border, like, declare war, or, you know, kind of thing. And I kind of want to do it on my own terms. I'm build our little fisheries. Now, um, hold on. Oh, no, before. Governors. Where's Amani? You're in Ray. I don't think you have to be in Ray. Uh, I mean, sort of yes, but Ipshin's gonna fall soon. Because, I think, Monty's got Samarkand and that's it, right? If I go... And put Amani in Samarkand. Oh, I should have done this sooner, because it's going to be five turns. She's going to get kicked out if a war starts. I might be able to get this one on my side. I don't know how big of a deal it is that he's got that, though. Sending the envoys right now isn't going to make a difference, so we'll just wait. Um, let's go for a mine here. 
So if he tells me I have to move my troops or go to war, I have to hit go to war. Uh, this quadream is fine, I guess. The industrial revolution and the growth of urban concentrations. That... Okay. Uh. Uh. We have to make a change here. I still need like billions of dollars. First of all, that's actually almost more important here. Although trade routes to allies, we have a lot of. That is pretty good. Because I think I want to run force modernization. I guess I can drop national identity for now. Actually, I don't even know if we're building anything currently. I don't think we are. So I'll run this. We'll keep national identity for the second. For a second. We're going to do this. Because you... I want to be able to build a balloon, but I think this is still correct. Don't I have another melee unit somewhere? Oh, right here. Yeah, I think that's going to be very useful. Roads. Well, roads is going to need some housing. I guess I'll do the neighborhood. I mean, I can build the granary as well, but let's get the neighborhood down before I, you know, build improvements on all those. That is a plus six tile. Although, isn't that also like a god tier campus that we've never gotten? I think we're still waiting on that. Yeah. We've got the envoys, which might go to Samarkand. We will see. Well, I don't have to worry about the city hitting back, so that's going to be nice. I don't think that ship's actually going to be able to damage my ground units. I hope not, anyway. Go, go, fisheries. Um... No. Oh, uh, Lotaro, we... No, we'll refuse that. Hopefully you're still friendly here. I'm gonna get my alliance back with you. Clear friendship. Nice. Alliance. I'll do research with you, I guess. Uh, with three gold. To sweeten the pot. Okay, your housing is currently okay. Yeah, go for Builder. And a few more. I'm betting we can't... No, not quite. Well, we'll have another round of getting XP, which is nice. That's the trader. We might be able to boop when we do declare a war. I'm not sure. All the fisheries. So we're going to go and dig that, which didn't grow Olympia, probably because of housing modifiers. But I want to be able to get a farm. Okay, Shenyang has just popped. It is generating a pretty scary unit there, but it is going to fall to us fairly soon. And we do have walls on all these cities. Uh, Olympia does not have walls. Hold on a second. That's... Slightly scary. There. He's not going to be able to reach me this turn, so I can go ahead and do this. Now, I can probably take the city this turn, but... Okay, at least one more turn. This will only go to promotion. This one won't have it yet. That'll have to be good enough. But yeah, I won't take the city this turn. We'll take it next turn for an extra promotion on our bombards. Because it is going to be very, very, very valuable to do that. Ah! Fish, fish. Get in the boat. You are denouncing me because I have grievanced other people. Yeah, and there, Monty's getting crankier with me. Which I definitely expected. Tourism from great works like relics we don't want to have to go. I'm going to put a couple of points in there. Um, we, we don't trade with any city-states, um, so we'll do something like that. I'll upvote myself a few times. Maybe we can sneak in diplomatic victory. Uh, that's not going to work, because we're, we're never going to get any points, because we don't generate a lot of political power. If you can walk away. Okay. Oh, yeah. So we're one turn sort of late on taking this, although I don't have enough money to buy the, um, buy the balloon anyway. Promotion available. Nice. You could get the promotion 
if we wait one more turn. Since I can't buy the plane right now anyway, I will wait another turn. Because I would love for this guy to have that promotion. And this is the one... Okay, this would be a plus one range promotion. This one is going to be the attack after move. So we're still going to have one without the plus one range, but that seems okay. So we're researching rifling just because that leads to... I think that leads to combustion where we get our... Um, where we unlock oil. Going to the middle, sorry, go. One nice thing with this is if this guy had moved in, I would have been able to maybe chop over here to boost it, boost the walls, and make sure we weren't actually in any danger. Uh, I suspect we need to do a swap of a tile. One, two, how come I can't? How come Boktree can't take possession of this tile? Oh, probably because of the state of the war that things are in. Uh -huh. Let's reassign Liang to Ray. So we can fisherize that area. And I'm going to send you there. I'm going to send you there. Alright, so we get the extra promotion. <clears throat> Refuse? Although that's a lot of money for all our upgrades if we wanted that this one here that yeah promotion available perfect all right let's take the city and that's the end of persia yes persia will not stand the test of time we're going to keep this city um we will have to move some advisors over there uh let's bind it up that's going to be fine Ooh, your ship is done so you're going to come over here Actually, I think it'll end your turn. So what we want to do... How far can you go? So here. There. Do that. Upgrade you into Armada, which gives me Era Score. Um, one thing I want to check... We could potentially get Horatio Nelson here, and then we wouldn't have to build the... Um, I guess you're building a harbor as well. Okay, I was going to say, so we don't have to build a lighthouse and stuff ourselves, but I guess we're going to do it that way. Ray, I don't think you need ancient walls. I think you're going to be fine without it. I think we will, in fact, start building a harbor for you. We will get ancient... Uh, hold on. Maybe you get monument first? How bad's the loyalty situation? Okay, minus 2.1 is not bad. And what we can do is I think we'll assign Vicky over there. Um, yeah, so you're going to be fine. Yeah, we'll go with walls first because who knows what kind of monstrosity. Well, the Aztecs don't have any troops right now, which is actually kind of stupendous. There you go. Back after moving. So what we need to do is purchase a balloon, 1440. That's probably going to be our go time. Although the Aztecs might be like, hey, what are you doing all up in my border before then? In which case, we will tell them, yeah, okay, we're at war now. Oh, because you probably have to go here and this guy's in the way. Do a little swap next turn and get you up on that high ground. Do, 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 do. Just wait here on the edge. Oh, I guess I could have moved these guys in a different, more efficient way. Clear that guy out. Oh, don't have enough moving for it? Interesting. Um, let's attempt to steal a tech boost. Sure. Ike. You were denouncing me. That's what I was expecting. I'd actually forgotten that he hadn't denounced me yet. Because I might have wanted to denounce him before starting the war. Although, I will be able to do declare war territorial expansion to generate fewer grievances, which might not be a terrible idea. Um, we want the archaeologist, but I think what we're going to do now is we're going to start making some units to finish some of our stuff here. 
Uh, for example, let me make a couple of field cannons. So that we can have triple field cannons. Let me just swap you for a sec. And I'll put you on the hill afterwards. You're gonna move here. You've still got a promotion. It's okay. You're gonna press there. You're gonna wait here. Like that. You're gonna chill the front here. So we still have plenty of tiles to improve in this area. And some of these tiles might get replaced with districts later, but that's fine. How long before this flips? Six more turns. So I don't want to. I'm not gonna go for the gypsum right now, because it'll be a little close to Shenyang. Oop. I'm guessing this is probably dead end over here. Oh, we gotta put a cut in here. So let's do that now. Do do do. Well, I'm gonna get you your plus one range. Actually, do you have plus one range? No. So, what I'm going to want to do, okay, I want to put you up here, I'm going to put you there. Because when we buy the balloon here, these two will get the benefit of the plus one range. Um, but the one, whatever one over here isn't. So we have to make sure it's one that's got built in plus one range. So that's going to be fine. Um, let's, can I build a bombard? No, because I don't have any niter. Although, we'll get a little bit of niter production when we get this. And then, we're going to not need niter when we unlock the next level of tech. Okay, I think what you're going to do is you're going to build a single field cannon. You know what? Or, oh yeah, we can't build the armies yet anyway. Duh, that's in, well, one turn. Do I just get you to build a single field cannon to merge up there? Or do I... Say, wait a turn and just start building an army of another type. I don't know. I think a field cannon's not a bad idea. And yeah, you're going to wait here. And you're actually fine here. I mean, you could also be the one that moves there, but you can't reach there this turn, so that's going to have to be okay. Uh, you've got that going on. I guess I should improve more tiles over here. Actually, let's get this hill. And I think I remember seeing Gordian doesn't actually control that tile, so let's do that. And let's do this as well. Gordian needs a little bit more lovin'. I mean, Ray doesn't have access to that many st super strong tiles either. That's fine. This drops in five turns. I guess you're gonna go there. You can go over here. You're gonna find our, finally lumber mill this tile that we flagged a thousand years ago. Just as a reminder to not bulldoze it. Um, let's go over there. fish, and you'll move there. Okay, well, we're going to call it here, and we can go to war with these guys whenever. We could do a formal war now, or what we could do is we could um, war territorial expansion next turn. My concern is if he asks me, hey, move your troops or else, we have to say we're going to declare war. We'll give him the ability to move first, and I think it'll be the same grievances as a surprise war. I'm not sure. Well, he's already down to me, so I, I don't know. Maybe he will, maybe he won't do that. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, it'll be nice if he doesn't do it, and then we can just next turn declare War of Territorial Expansion, um, which will give us uh, very few grievances. I mean, I don't care that much about politics, but it will be nice to keep people on our side as much as possible um, diplomatically for as long as we can, because we've got so many grievances, we're not going to be able to maintain these alliances much longer. In any case, uh, probably China's our next target, just by virtue of proximity. Okay, thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.